You know, we are also gathered today, not just to um, get to see a wedding happen, but to think about the God who is the giver of this gift. In the presence of God, I vow to love you forever. I vow to be faithful to you at all times. Eric, with the help of God, I vow that I choose you to be my home and to hold my heart forever. I vow to hold your heart and to love you endlessly. Whether we are busier than ever or doing nothing at all, I promise to spend my life prioritizing you and our relationship with God. So Brianna, Anita, yes, you are my daughter. Yes, you are my friend, my good, good friend. Yes, you are my champion, yet there's one other thing that you will forever be to me. You will always be Batty's little girl. take you, Eric. I, Brianna, take you, Eric. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. As God intended. As God intended. And I promise you my faithfulness. And I promise you my faithfulness. Eric, I'm guessing this won't be the first time you've ever done this, but you know something? This is the first time you will ever kiss your wife. And we get to watch. <laughs> Brianna, the strength of the oak tree reminds me of the strength of your spirit and strong love for God. And the sound of its swaying leaves calls to mind the gentleness of your person. And the tree's gleaming radiance at day's end. Well, that's just majestic. Just as you are. So with, uh, with all these grievances being said, um, 
I, I would like to welcome you, Bree, to the family. Um, I'm really excited to have a new sister-in-law. Um, con congratulations to the two, two of you. Quote, my command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. I stopped in my tracks and I was overwhelmed with motion as Brie immediately popped into my head. A relationship will suffer if you don't spend quality time with each other every day, if only for a moment, without TV, without phones, without iPads, even without, eventually, your children. I know it's hard, but if your life depended upon it, you do it, and your relationship life does depend upon it. So spend quality time with each other. Treasure that relationship.